If you guys are wanting to build a better team like this, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, then look no further than u7buy.com. They sell cheap and reliable foot 22 coins and they also sell foot accounts this year. So if you're interested, click the link in the top line of the description and use code MUZ for 5% off at checkout. Yes guys and welcome back to a brand new sniping filter video today we are bringing back a lot of fodder filters mainly because recently we've focused on a lot of special card filters a lot of team of the weeks a lot of man of the matches of course foot birthday has not been the best for sniping filters so yeah we're bringing back some unbelievable fil fodder filters these get listed a lot and you can make very good coins on them there's also some very good low tier ones as well so we're covering a bit of everything really uh, but before we do start as always if you guys could drop a like that'd be appreciated and as always, we do these every single day, so make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. So let's jump into the first one. This is going to be a low tier one, a very simple and easy one. I've actually just recorded this intro and the audio messed up, so it's a bit annoying. But uh, Spanish Premier League centre-back, you have got three players that can pop up. You've got Aspilicueta, who's about 2.5k. You've got Pablo Mari, who's about 4,000 coins right now. That is because he has transferred club, so... He won't get listed loads because he's not in packs for Arsenal, of course. He's moved to Udinese, uh, but he is another option. And the cheapest one is Diego Lorente, who is about uh, 2k right now, just just under 2k, I believe. So you got him at 2k, you got Aspilicueta at 2.5, and, and then you got Murray at about 4. I did manage to pick an Aspilicueta up for, oh god, um, I picked him up for 1.9, I believe it was. And we're flipping him for 2.4, that should sell eventually. Um, and yeah, like a couple hundred coins a card. And if you get Murray, you're getting a couple of care card. It all adds up, boys. A couple hundred coins. If you get a load, obviously it'll add up like mad. So, yeah, very good low-tier filter. Okay, this next filter is very crazy. Probably one of the craziest filters I've recommended. Mainly because we're in March and these two players are both the same price. At about 80k, I believe. About 70 to 80k. So, we're going to go to Ligue 1. PSG never recommended this before as well. So gold rare forwards. You've got to go min by now on Xbox of 40,250. So basically get rid of Di Maria. Once you've got rid of Di Maria on PlayStation, you can literally find the price on Xbox. It is 40,250. If we type in about 80k, you have got Neymar and you've got Messi. And these two guys, I've been waiting ages because there's always been about a 10k difference, about 10, 15k difference. It's here, boys. Occasionally there might be a 5k difference, but that's not too bad. Uh, but I think right now they are pretty much the bang on same price. So Neymar about a 73 could be. Nah, I don't think it'll be a snipe. Uh, but about 75-ish. And then Messi's about about 75 as well. So there you go. They're both the same price near enough. Them two are popping up. Obviously, you'd have to get very lucky to get Mbappe. But uh, yeah, the tax on it up here is about just under 4,000 coins, I believe. If you're selling it at about 75, just under 4k. You'll have to be a little bit more patient, as always, with any high tier filter. Uh, but the chance of getting that extra profit, you could make 10, 15k a card. Uh, and yeah, if you do hit any mad snipes on some of these big ones, by the way, tweet me them because I, I love seeing them. I love seeing your, uh, your profit. Okay, next up, we are going to go back to another lower tier one. And then we've got quite a few mid tier slash higher tier ones after this. So we're going to go to Premier League and goalkeeper and that is all you need literally all you need um these have been absolutely crazy i don't know exactly why i think it's mainly because of all the foot sbcs like the foot 20 the foot 19 a lot of them have required higher chemistry um and yeah premier league goalkeepers the lot of them silvers bronzes golds all shot up so they're all selling for a little bit less than yesterday actually they're selling for up, upwards of like 1.5 minimum i believe uh, but they're still at 1.3 which i know don't sound a lot but this is the whole of the league so because the tax is so minimal you can literally snipe for 1.1 sell at 1.3 you might get a goalkeeper that's worth 2k so always go check the price uh, i think alex mccarthy will be 1.3 so that's just an easy i know that's only about 100 coins profit but again it'll get listed loads you won't be sniping for long at all i mean look how easy this is um, I should probably check how much he's worth, but I'm going to list it for 1.3 as well. And yeah, you'll, you'll just quickly stack like a thousand coins every couple cards and it'll be mad. And then sooner or later, you might hit like a 400 coin like that, 500 coin, or hit like an 83 rated keeper and uh, Bob Durante made a couple K card. And before we do jump on into the next filter, if you guys watched a video from a couple days ago, it worked too long ago, I bought about three or four pages of Coutinho's at about 13k on, on, on one of the videos. And yeah, they all sold. They all sold in like a day because of the Prime Icon pack. I think probably the easiest investment you can make this FIFA boys is informs. Uh, when informs go down to like 12, 13k, it doesn't really matter who they are. They'll always go up, even if it's a couple of K, like you can make a K card and happy days. I might even make, if you guys want a separate video on an investment video, especially when prices come back down again, informs especially, 
incredible. Uh, I might make a video on it though. I probably should make more videos outside of uh, sniping filters. But uh, anyway, the next one is going to be sort of a low tier slash mid tier one. This is a blast from the past. This is absolutely incredible. Um, in fact, I'll give you two in one here because this is just, it works all year round because they're both 85 rated. So you're going to go Dutch centre back. Wow, they're actually expensive right now as well. So you've got Delict and you've got De Vrij. So the the double D, double D. Delict and De Vrij, where is De Vrij right now? Is he a little bit more? There you go, De Vrij is a little bit more. So you snipe in between them two, Delict and De Vrij. Works all year round because they're both 85 rated. The other one is literally pretty much the same. You've actually got three players in this filter though. You've got Delict again, you've got Benucci, and you've got Chiellini as a little jackpot. Chiellini is 86 rated, so... You'd have to get lucky to get Chiellini, but two really, really good fodder filters there, boys. Whether you've got a million coins budget or you've got a couple hundred card, highly recommend putting quite a bit of time into this. Okay, next up, we couldn't go a sniping video without a special card filter. We've had to throw at least one in there. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a foot birthday one. I did do a couple, I think I did two or three in yesterday's video, uh, which should still work. So if you want to go find some foot birthday ones, go check out yesterday's video. Um, today, we're going to go special. This is going to be a Team of the Week filter literally just keep it nice and simple um arsenal they're all up at about 24k right now so it's incredible absolutely incredible uh and saka is in packs 86 80, i can't even keep track saka's had that good of a season um you could even go team of the week if you want to get rid of ramsdale um and you've got a couple sackers a couple smith rose you've got awesome Mart martinelli there you go this is the one in packs he's about 27 28k right now uh, to, be, to be honest, Saka might be a great player to snipe by himself, but uh, you may as well get all the other players in. So, look how many players that can pop up. Incredible. Incredible. I wonder if that Smith Rose actually a snipe. How much was he listed for? He was listed for... Ooh, 26, 750. Is that a snipe? Can't even keep track of what his price is, you know. Do you know what? I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to pick it up. And we'll list it for 28 and a half. Reckon it'll slow, so slowly. I don't know his exact price, but uh, yeah, awful lot of players you can snipe there. Whether you go special or team of the week, it's up to you guys. Just keep changing it up. And at worst, if, if Saka gets too expensive, if he hits the 30k mark, you could literally just go Saka special, snipe between three of his informs because he's so good. By the way, let me know in the comments, by the way, uh, who would you take uh, based off this season, Saka or Sancho? I found it a quite a good uh, comparison because I don't think there's loads in it because Sancho's actually been in real good form. Saka's in great form as well. As a Chelsea fan, I don't like either of the clubs, but I think I'd edge it to Saka. And before we do jump on into the final filter of today's video, we did the little quiz at the end of yesterday's video just to see who's made it to the end. And one of you guys got it. So far, I've seen a few comments, but uh, one person got it at least. It was Figueroa, the left back for Wigan. I asked you guys to uh, basically name who this player was. Back in like 2011... Yeah, bit of a beast. I always remember his screamer from, uh, I think it's on the halfway line. Unbelievable. Uh, but yeah, fair play. Good little Wigan team, that. Rod Yeager, Ben Watson. I mean, literally, it was the 2010 team that won the FA Cup, wasn't it? So, fair play. Um, anyway, today's quiz, we are going to be mixing up. I, I always like these quiz. Hopefully, you guys don't mind them too. Uh, this is going to be another, like, Sporkle-based quiz. So, I get a lot of these quizzes from Sporkle. The site's called Sporkle. So, I have crossed out three names in red. I know a lot of them are in red, but I've crossed them out, three of them. So one of them played for Bournemouth, as you guys can see on the left, on the right-hand side. One of them played for West Ham, and one of them played for Arsenal. So I've given you a clue with their clubs. The question is, can you name... Oh, basically, this was 2018 season. With the assist tally. I don't know how to word this. Assists. This is all the top assisters in 2018 Premier League season. Can you name the three players that I've crossed out? God, that was not that hard. Why can't I speak? So, top assist in 2018. So, it was only... I think it was the season 2018 winner was the year after Chelsea. So, was it Man City? I think it was Man City. The year Man City won it. Yeah, it's got to be because Sané was outrageous. That day. In fact, 2018 was the year, in my opinion, probably one of the greatest teams I've ever watched in the Premier League. That Man City team, 20, that 2018 period to 2020... Genuinely, probably the best football I've ever watched. Oh, maybe behind Barca 09. But Pep, oh, holy shit. What a team that was. Sané as well. <sighs> Unbelievable. Sterling, incredible. Eriksen up there. Salah. Hazard. <sighs> what a time. Sorry, I, I just hope, I hope Hazard comes back to Chelsea so bad. But it's not looking good. 
it's not looking good. Um, so hopefully we can get an owner. Boris, I've asked you once, but to be fair, since I asked Boris, he did uh, let us sell the club at least. So hopefully, I think it's by Friday. If we've got a bidder, we can sell on. So hopefully Saudis, we're linked to someone that's a trillionaire, not a billionaire, a trillionaire, which I think might be the richest owner in world football. So if we can hit, get him, uh, we're chilling. I'd buy Hazard. I'd still buy Hazard if we can get a trillion. Um, because, yeah, I think any Chelsea fan would, even though he's out of form, we'd get him in form, for sure. We'd get him in form. Anyway, I've tried so much. Right, right last filter, another fodder filter. Premier League Liverpool defender, gold rare, 10,250 to get rid of the lower scraps. From here, just find the cheapest. It is between Robertson and Alexander-Arnold, also known as Trent. Uh, I think they're both about 23k right now. Incredible to snipe because they're both in packs. You can get these guys for like 3k less, 4k less, 5k less, get incredible profit and it will get listed often because again, they are in packs. Oh, he's come down a little bit. Interesting. About 22 and a half. So it's about 1,100 coins tax here, so you'd only have to snipe for about 21,250 right now. It depends what they're going for, of course. People keep asking me, what do I sell for? What do I buy for? As always, I mention it a lot, but just find the cheapest when you guys are watching. So right now, the cheapest is 22 and a half. If you guys are watching in six hours' time, whenever the video's out, if he's 22, work out 1,100 coins tax. And kaboom, snipe for that less. It's that simple. Quick maths. There we go. So hopefully you guys have made a lot of coins. It is Tuesday. I was going to say it's Team of the Week there. Champions League there. Ho. Oh. In fact, right, boys, if you guys have made it to this part of the video as well, and and it's before the Man U kick off. Predictions for the Manchester United v Atletico Madrid game. Buzzing for that game. I don't think you could get a more 50-50 game. If you guys watched the first leg as well, incredibly even. In fact, Man U were the best, but neither were Madrid. On chances, I don't think it was that one sided to anyone. It was the, the tight game. Alanga came on and scored, of course, near the end. I think it's so hard to call that is because Atletico Madrid have been all over the shop. Man U have been all over the shop. Ronaldo has come off the back of a hat trick. Man, you're at home, aren't they? Man, you're at home. I've got a feeling. I've just got a feeling. Even though I don't like Man, you, I've got a feeling they're gonna win it. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. What am I going with? I don't think they'll keep a clean sheet, especially for Maguire's. But I'm gonna go two one. Go two one. I think it'll be two one in extra time. I think it'll be one all ninety minutes. Ronaldo score the winner in, in extra time. I hate to say it, but uh, he's just got this drip about him lately. This ice. He, well, he always has it. He always just scores. And it's annoying because sometimes he drops stinkers and he still scores. But you just can't hear it. You can't hear it because he always scores. So, yeah, buzzing for the Champions League. Obviously, Chelsea play tomorrow as well. Hopefully, we get UEFA marquee matchups. That'd be pretty sick. I do need to complete the... Did I... Oh, no, I completed it. UEFA marquee matchups. Uh, but, yeah, love to see it, boys. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Hopefully, you made a lot of coins. And I'll be back tomorrow with another video. I'm out. Peace.